Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Doris. How are you? I'm fine. You're fine. Excellent. How was your day? Uh, my day was uh, yeah, nice. It was nice. Great. Yes. Yes. Uh, in the morning, I went to uh, security, social security. Mm -hmm. And uh, after uh, went to uh, work. Really, you went to work. Yes. Uh, but did you go because you were sick or just for to get some medication or something like uh, that? In in my case, is in, in the my shoulder. I have I have a a, a a pain in my shoulder. Really? Yes. Okay. Yes. And the uh, the doctor gave me a medication. Okay. So I really hope you get better soon. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Very good. Thank now you. Now I have. David, Jocelyn, Andres Giovanni, and Fernando. Welcome, guys. How are you today? I'm fine, teacher. You're fine. I'm really yes. glad to hear that. Okay. How about the rest of the, the class? How are mm -hmm. you today? What did you do today? Just let me know. In my case, I am great. You're great. A little tired because we're bad. I know. Okay, same here, you know, but no, I'm ready to be here with you guys, okay? This is going to be a great class because you're here. Okay, here is already here in the class as well. Hi, Hennessy. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I'm driving, so be paying attention for, but uh, I'll, I think, I'm sorry, but I'll be listening in later in a little bit. Okay, that's okay, don't worry. Thank you so much for letting me know. Thank you. Okay. Okay, let's wait for your classmates. Class, did you finish with the exercises from the platform? Section number one. Well, unit number one in this case, unit number one exercises. Did you? I have some problem with the 1.7. Okay, 1.7. Let me check on that right now. Section number one, exercise 1.7. Let me see this one, right? In number four. Number four and number, and number five. Number four and number five. Okay, just let me do something real quick. Oh gosh, you know, I asked people from uh, tech support because yesterday uh, Genesis, she was asking me about this one, the same exercise, six, number four and number five, this item. 
but we are still missing the correction. So, David, so don't worry, just let me show you the correct answers. So you can go and complete because this, we are just missing this, just a word, an expression. Eso nos falta, look. Yes. That, that. And as you may see, we do not have this expression. Just right mm -hmm. here, we do not have it. So please just go ahead and you can take the correct one, the correct answer from here. Okay, for number four and number five. Okay. Okay, just do it, don't worry. Okay, ahorita estoy reportando nuevamente. Okay, just give me one second. Any other mistake or problem, probably in punctuation or spelling that you may have noticed in these exercises or not? ¿Alguno que quieran que reporte? No? No sé si han ido también a las demás secciones. Section number two, three. Bien, ya reporté este, chicos. So please, remember, you can let me know about these issues. And also, if you find or if you're having, you know, a problems with this type of issues, you can also take a screenshot and send this information to WhatsApp. Remember that we are in the same group. El grupo que tenemos con todos los... Eh, estudiantes con todos los classmates. Ahí tenemos también eh, gente de eh, personal de la academia. They are always reading those messages and checking the information. So in case that you need us to help you, we're gonna be reading or checking WhatsApp daily, okay? So did you finish, David? Can I stop sharing screen? Yes, thank you. Great. Anyone else? Alguien más about section number one exercises from the platform? No? Or are we okay with those exercises? Because remember, yes, today, today we need to have those uh, exercises ready because they're going to be checking. Probably they are already checking, you know, those uh, exercises from section number one. Because today we're going to have a review, a review about one of the topics, grammar topics that we were covering last week. And tomorrow we are going to have unit number two. Okay. So it is really nice to see you. A los que tienen su cámara encendida, great. Really nice to see you. A los demás, hi class, where are you? We really want to see you. Okay. We really want to interact. Bien, time to start with the class. What class is this one? Who can tell me? Is class number four, five, six? Number six. It's class number six. Great. Let me show you the topic for today. What do you say, teacher, do, that tomorrow we had it? I lost the audio in that moment. Tomorrow? Uh, we are going to have unit number two. Okay. okay. I guess I look. Okay, 
maybe not an intro. This is not an intro to verbs and expressions because we were having like some exercises, some examples, the explanation, the rules that we need to follow in one of our classes last week. So this is just like um, a reinforcement, right? We're, in, we're going to practice, you know, in a different way. And also we are going to have some extra uh, vocabulary. This is class number six, and this is the topic for today, right? But before we can continue with this topic, as you may remember, yesterday we were having presentations and I am still missing some of your classmates to present this information. Look, this was the activity from yesterday, right? We were making presentations. And as you may see, I'm still missing Erwin, Fredis, and Madeline. They were working together in group number two. And Doris, Lourdes, and Janari, they are still missing. You know, they were working together in group number six. So just let me know if you're ready to present the information. And if all of your classmates, the ones that are still missing, <laughs> are they already in the class? Let me check on that. Vamos a pasar lista para chequear who is missing. Here we go. Okay, Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Diego Alejandro Caballero López. Here teacher. Okay. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present. <coughs> Erwin Lagos Andrade. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. Present, teacher. Redis Vladimir Cortés López. I'm here. Génesis del Carmen Hernández Brizuela. Present. Arvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present, teacher. Okay. Yasmin Marisol Escobar Flores. Present. Lourdes Montserrat Hernández Velázquez. Present. Madeline Yamilet Molina González. Present. Mm, let me see. Telma Cleotilde Peña Martínez. Okay. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Jessica Yanari Cortez Diaz. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Amazing. Very good job. Teacher. Yes. You didn't mention me. Kenya, let me see. Kenya, Kenya. Yes, I did. Kenya Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Yep. Okay, aquí estamos. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So let me ask you guys Erwin, Fredis, Madeline, Doris, Lourdes, and Jessica, who is ready to share the information right now? Veamos, aquí estamos. Yes, who's ready? At least a one or two members of the group can present the information so we can finish with that topic, right? I think we're ready. Okay. 
So we are ready to listen as well. So go ahead, Lourdes. Okay, um, Doris, will you start the presentation? Yes. Uh, can you share the screen? Okay. Okay. Good evening, everybody. I talking about the religion in the workplace. Uh, the religion behaviors and viewpoints can result in conflict at court, maybe, but also religion can possibly uh, influence our workers, like uh, your like the moral and communication. In, in the workplace, uh, the boss uh, in, may uh, have to uh, encourage uh, flexibly about the, the behaviors in religion. Uh, uh, the religion in the, in the companies uh, affect positive or negative depends with in the world uh, uh, the world share the, the behaviors or beliefs a uh, positive is when uh, uh, the religion uh, influence uh, in values positive values in negative when the different viewpoints uh, create a conflict in the co-workers. Uh, for barrows, the barrows in the workplace is the companies uh, share the barrows uh, their workers like uh, honesty, cooperation, responsibility, eventually. Uh, the values, the principal values in the companies maybe can, can do a positive attitude, adaptability, honesty, and integrity. This is it. Next, continue the word. Okay. Okay, uh, the next point in values is what values does the company promote or to practice? Um, we took this because uh, is maybe you can have a lot of values, but if the company doesn't promote any of them or, or even the practices that are not, um, like there are no honesty or, or anything like that, it's very hard to practice that in, in an environment that there is no honesty or cooperation or even responsibility. And the next one is how important professional ethic is in the companies. It's almost the same, um, but how the company do value an employee that has or that practice all these, these good things. Um, or if they are viewed as a good member of the team or there is, is not important at all for them. And the next is the social background. We took this because um, then maybe no one talks about it, but I think it's, it's very uh, evident uh, how social background sometimes affect the, how the, the team uh, do the work. Because if you put a person that comes from a social background that comes from a high class, let's say, and someone that comes from a lower uh, population, uh, it's very different how they view life, how they work, what is important to each one. And I think this, this can create uh, conflicts. In my case, I believe this. Um, I don't want to sound rude, <laughs> but... 
I work with people that is from a higher status and they don't seem to care as much as other people about their, their jobs. Maybe they can quit tomorrow and they will be fine. So then sometimes they don't care if they do the things right or if they don't meet deadlines or something like that. But in my case, well, I, I cannot quit tomorrow and, and say I will be fine. I need a job, so I need to to do the work right. So it's, sometimes it's frustrating to treat with people like that. Um, I'm not meaning that everyone is like this, but I have some experiences. Um, the other point is if the opportunities to grow in the company are equal for everyone, there are some companies that uh, maybe the opportunities are not the same. Maybe you can be hired in a very, very basic position and work hard and give more time, more energy. But the next year, the son of the boss is hired as manager. <laughs> so that can be very frustrating too. And the other one is the salary ranges depends on abilities, experience, or nepotism. Um, maybe it's, it's almost the same too, but as about money or privileges, maybe some people have more privileges or flexible schedules or more opportunities to do something nicer and some people doesn't. So that's our presentation. Excellent, you know, um, I was taking a look at the information you were presenting, girls, and yeah, I, you know, I haven't considered about this one social background, but in fact, yes, it is, right? This is, a, um, how can I say this? It's a common source of conflict, sure, because as you were mentioning, right? If people come from different backgrounds, yes, of course, they are going to behave in a different way. So interesting information. And thank you so much, Lord, for, for sharing your personal experience, you know? Thank you so much. So let me have the last group. Erwin, I don't know if you're ready, if your group is ready. Or Freddy's. Freddy's is there. He's not here. Sorry, I am. So late, but I'm here in the class. No, he's bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Freddy, and Erwin, and Madeline. Okay. Go ahead, guys. Okay. I know you can do it. Okay. Let me see. Give me a second. Freddy, can I begin or you will? You will yeah, you, you're the one who's going to begin. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> the culture. I will begin uh, to tell, to say about the world, okay? When you have a good people, you will have a good country. Yes, it is the most important. For example, in Japanese, after the second war, yes, Japanese only have people and sea, but the people from Japanese love to work, okay? Love to work. This is the most important in one company. You have a three research in the company, technology, info, technology, financial, and uh, employees. Yeah, for this, if you consider the, the general information, you have to think about the culture. Belief attitude, the company have to work for to change many bad mind in, in, the, in the employees. A culture that tolerate and be able give other employees license to behave to be to behave the same way. Decrease motivation to commit the day job because the justice is so important. Cultural conflict in the workplace can arise with the different perceptions around the power. If you have a, a, a bad, I, I think the, the, the employees are not bad. I think, I'm sure that the bus are bad bus. If you have a good bus, 
they try to, to teach the Uyghur well. Okay? This is about my, my guys, teacher. Okay. So just let me ask you, Erwin. Uh, I know you're, uh, you have a business, right? So you're the boss, right? I and am, I, but, yeah. but I am the boss, but okay. they, they, are, they are one different. Uh -huh. Yes, let me know about your experience. It would be interesting if you tell us oh. about that. Yes, as a boss, yes. My, I try to, to teach culture for my, for my employees to find the family. The most important is the family. Right. Yeah, it's for me. It's the most important. And try, if I want to employees this money, this money, it's for your family. It's your family, the most important. You work for your family. We have to work together because all people are family and all people love your family. Yeah. After that, we can make something about for to change the mind about the the the, the place. And you try, but if you are the boss, you have to give the example for the other people. If you didn't give, if you don't give the example for the other people, they are bad boss. Yes. Okay, interesting. Great. <laughs> Teacher, I will restart my computer. I have a problem. Okay. Yeah, he's, he has audio problem. Okay, okay, no. How about now? Let me see. I was checking on my internet connection. Okay, great. So, yes, I could. I was listening to you, Erwin. So interesting information, you know. I really like you to share personal experience because this is all about our personal experience, you know? So, great information. So, who's going to continue? Me. Okay, go ahead, please, friends. Relationship. In relationship, there are stereotypes, emotions, miscommunication, and negative behaviors. All that in, it's, it's influenced on the, actually, in everyday uh, at your workplace. Let's say if you have a uh, strong emotions, uh, sometimes you could affect even if you're a boss, your employees, and if you're an employee, you could affect your coworkers. Because sometimes when you have strong emotions, uh, you could react. Uh, let's say you could react like bad, or you could make some bad decisions and miscommunication. It's something that um, that that it happens a lot on the workplace when, uh, especially when um, coworkers don't hang along with each other. When let's say, um, how can you explain that? Uh, Let's say, it, uh, especially when there's like, like something that makes them like rivals, let's say they're looking to have a better position and both of them are fighting for the same position. Uh, something they could have miscommunication because uh, both are looking to have the same goal and that makes um, always in, at your workplace to do something wrong or not to do a good job. And negative behaviors, it's most, mostly the same. When you have negative behaviors, um, and let's say if you're in a place where you do customer service, um, actually you will do a bad, you will give a bad service to the customers and um, the company reputation will go down. I think that will be it. And uh, the next part is going to be Marilyn. Marilyn, okay. Thank you, Fred. Hi, hello, good evening. Uh, well, uh, as a group, 
uh, we are going to share poor communication. And we think that uh, all the companies have to uh, have a good communication because um, is yeah. the moment when all uh, the employees can share or exchange information and their ideas for their feelings. Mm -hmm. And it's necessary because uh, they can feel that are part of the company. And at the same moment, at the same time, uh, motivate all the members uh, to do a good job. And uh, if we have uh, poor communication, uh, they can misunderstand the process or they can not have a, a good idea or understand the process or the objectives that the uh, company uh, want to, to reach. And uh, we also uh, give the opportunity to share the, the ideas and the company can improve uh, the things that they are doing bad. And I think that that part is very important. It's all for us. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. Okay. So you see, it's very interesting to have you, you know, present this type of information because at the same time, you are, you know, trying to find out, you know, about in this case, because we were talking about the common sources of conflict, you know. So in this case, probably, you know, we can make a change, you know, or at least try to make a change, you know, at our workplace. So interesting topic, you know. I have learned a lot about this topic. I really enjoyed about this one, right? I don't know, let me listen to you because this is going to be like the conclusion or the last time that we are going to be covering this type of, oh, well, this topic because it's uh, the last topic from unit number one. So as a conclusion, what can you say? What are the most common sources of conflict caused by cultural uh, diversity at, at your workplace or as, as a general, as idea that we have. What as mentionamos? Because you were having like some in common, right? For example, the social background, values. Values is one that uh, I guess two or three groups were presenting, you know, the same information. Values is another one. Any other one that you still remember? Which are they? Which were they? What do you remember religion? about? Okay, religion is another one. Manners. Manners as well. Bad manners. Mm -hmm. Bad manners, okay, exactly. Education. Okay, education as well. So interesting. Let's see, let's move on to the second activity that we have for today, take a look at this one. I have some questions that you're going to be discussing with the help of your classmates. But first of all, let's take a look at the questions and let's review about the vocabulary or the information that we're going to be asking. Very good job. Fernando, can you please help me out? From number one up to, let me see, number five. Read, okay. read the questions. Uh, first, uh, we have to stop it dying recently. Uh, what's something you really resent paying for? What movie can you watch over and over without ever getting tired of? Great. When doing sports, have you ever risked hurting yourself? Um, what do you enjoy doing that you are embarrassed? I don't know how do you... <laughs> embarrassed? Embarrassed, with the at the end. Yes, because it's in the okay. past. You are embarrassed about. about. What, what is the meaning enjoy? of this in class? 
Uh -huh. Okay, repeat that again. Don't worry. We're going to have this at the end. Where do, so, you, where do you enjoy doing that? You are embarrassed about? Embarrassed like, about? What is the meaning of this class? Embarrassed. Avergonzarse. Uh -huh. What do you enjoy doing that you are embarrassed about? Okay. Great. Questions? about the meaning of any other word or pronunciation? No? If not, let's continue. David, go ahead, please. Help me out with these ones. Okay. What kind of people do you avoid meeting? How often do you appreciate other people for helping you? Have you ever denied doing something even if you did it? Wow. <laughs> what do you always avoid doing, doing <laughs> until the last minute? Okay, interesting. And let me have um, Jasmine. Go ahead, please. Read this question. Um, okay. What are some things you enjoy doing every day? How about every week? What is something you love doing but don't have enough time for? What is something you can't stand doing? Great job. Okay, let me have them again. What have you stopped doing recently? Interesting. What's something you really resent paying forward? Wow, I have a lot of examples. What movie can you watch over and over without ever getting tired of? Number four. When doing sports, have you ever risked hurting or hurting yourself? Number five, what do you enjoy doing that you are embarrassed about? Number six, what kind of people do you avoid meeting? Number seven, how often do you appreciate other people for helping you? Number eight, have you ever denied doing something, even if you did it? Number nine, what do you always abide doing until the last minute? Number 10, what are some things you enjoy doing every day, how about every week? Number 11, what is something you love doing, but don't have enough time for? And the last one, but it's something you can stand doing. What do these questions have in common? Let me see if you're curious. What do they have in common? It's about our habits. Hmm? Uh, habit okay, but not really. All of the other questions? Okay, yes, okay. No, but there's another thing that I'm expecting you to I've say. Question about you, about what are you doing? Okay, what are... personal meaning, but look at this one. We stopped doing, resent. Okay, hey. Jones. Ah. Jones. <laughs> ¿Qué tema es este? ¿Qué tipo de gramática? What part of grammar is this one? Jerons. Jerons, very good job. If you see, this is another way of practicing this topic, okay? Because you are going to express yourself by using gerunds. Aquí vamos, so what are we going to do? I'm going to send this information to WhatsApp so you can have the questions and we're going to work in pairs. I'm going to give you from five to 10 minutes you can discuss these questions with your classmates, then we are coming back to the main room and I'm going to send you to a different group so you can have or you can listen to different classmates, right? At the end, we are coming back and we're gonna be checking and listening to your replies. Is it clear what we are going to do right now? Yes? Yes. Not? Okay, so if you, don't, if you don't want to be honest, you know, because there are some questions in which uh, we need to share personal information, do not worry. I just need you to use the structure. 
Ok, tranquilos. No quieren compartir personal information. That's ok. Don't worry. So, let's go. Vamos a trabajar en parejas. Here we go. Ahí hay uno, mira. Ahí recortalo. ¿Dónde? Where? En ese palo. Hola, ¿qué tal? Hi. Ahí hay uno. Eh, se recorta. Y, y, y no es lo que necesitas allá, pues. Ok, let me do something. Ok. Groups of three. Class. David, veamos. Do you have two devices today, right? Yes, teacher. Ok, es por eso que me envió un grupo de tres. David. Pues, ¿Quién me hace con cosas? Ok. Okay. Who's going to share screen? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> okay, here we go. Go class. Se vende este grupo. Class, what is that? <laughs> ¿Qué es ese speaker? ¿Saben de ese grupo integrante incluido? I'm checking what's up right now. Ok, go and check what's up. I'm just missing Kenya and Diego. Estoy en el I, teléfono, entonces no. Entonces, I have the question. Phone, I, can, I can share I, it. I, if you could, because I'm on the phone, so I can't really share it properly. But if you could, great. The, okay. the, series, the questions? Okay, yes. so, okay. So what have you stopped doing recently? Uh, why don't you start, David? What, what have you stopped doing recently? What have you? Mm, I can see now and about I stopped doing recently. Recently, mm -hmm. well, for for a short period of time, I stopped mm -hmm. uh, drinking coffee because mm -hmm. I drink a lot of coffee every day. And then ah. after after the desintoxication, I now I drink a little cup every day or at one or two a day, but uh, in the previous time, I drink uh, a lot of coffee, maybe five, six, or even seven cup of coffee in the day. Wow. But now I drink only a little, not so much. But I stop okay, for, for, for about uh, uh, six or, or 10 months. I, I, six or seven, sorry, six or seven months, I stopped drinking coffee. Okay. So what, how about you, Dieguito? What have you stopped doing, doing recently? Um, I don't know, maybe, <laughs> no sé, let me think. Ah, algún cambio de dieta, algún ejercicio, algún hobby que ya no haces. No. No. I'm, I'm still doing the, the, same, the same things. Uh, maybe I'm missing running as usual. Oh, okay. Before... I, I was running almost every every weekend now okay. almost every two weeks three weeks and it's because uh, next sunday i have the the test uh, the okay. examen de notariado in spanish 
Uh, true, 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 true. Uh, I, I, I feel very, very uh, stressful, stress. No, I don't know how to say that. Stress how? Yeah, you're stressed. But you're going to pass. I know you will. You will be a notario <laughs> soon. I hope so. I... You're really resentful. Resent, really resent paying for. Yes. Mm. It's like uh, you are, you have, you you are regretting about, but some by something or. Something yes. That means. Yes. 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 Mm. I don't know. My case. Mm. Yeah. I I don't. I didn't buy something, and maybe in two months. That, <laughs> that is, I try to to record to to remember. Mm. Now mm. when I when I buy something, I think about uh, is. Is it worth it for me to uh, pay uh, an amount of, of that money for buying some, something that, that I need? So uh, for me, uh, always, if I buy something, uh, it's, it's good. I, I, don't, I don't do that uh, awfully. So for me, I, I, I don't, I don't <laughs> right. resent paying for, for a, a, a thing that I, I use every day or for me is very useful. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. What about you, Dari? Ah, uh, in my case, I bought a machine, vapor machine for iron my clothes. I, it's so expensive in, in nothing. Help me for iron my clothes. <laughs> okay. I think it's oh I, I bought the vapor machine because my iron clothes is too easy. What no, no, no. <laughs> I I I use the iron. Oh again. <laughs> okay. mm -hmm. And you? In my case, for example, before to begin the cycle in the university, when I have to pay, I don't know who say in English, matricula and the month. The inscription? And, yes, when I have to pay the inscription, the material, uh, it's, so, it's so expensive. And that's why I always think, oh my God, it's my money. If I don't have the study, I have that money, but. <laughs> but uh, this it's is necessary. Inversion. Yes, but it's necessary, right? See, so. this, is a, this is an inversion. Hi, Kenya. Who was working with you? Hello. Uh, he was Erwin, but oh, he has yeah. problems. With the internet connection. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to send you to a different group. And okay. when Erwin come back, comes back, I'm going to send him to a different group as well. Okay. So go please with Andres, Giovanni and Jocelyn, room number three. Here we go. Resting. 
and playing video games or watching soccer games. That's something that that I always enjoy. And you? I really enjoy uh, drinking coffee every single day. I enjoy also having dinner with my family, with my daughter, uh, playing with her, something that I really enjoy. Simple things that you always enjoy. Okay. Uh, what is something that you love doing but don't have enough time for? I really love to go out and to visit pueblitos. I try to uh, go out every single weekend, but in this case, I just had two day off, um, Sunday and, way and Monday, and sometimes I cannot go out. And sometimes also, uh, it's not because I don't have time, it's because I'm, I don't have enough money to go out. If you go out, you need money to travel, to eat something, and to enjoy. Yes. Uh... In my case, the same too. I like to go and meet new places, but I don't have too much time and sometimes money. Yes. Okay, well, what is something you can st stand doing? Mm, well, stand. Mm, what about you? Uh, I'm I'm not really sure about this and this question. I uh, teacher mean? in that. What is something you can stand doing? Que no pueden soportar hacer. You cannot stand doing. Mm. Algo que le disgusta hacer. Well, in my case, I think that would be doing exercise. I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yes, I can't. Even yeah. if I have to walk too much, uh, I I know. <laughs> I'm tired. You don't practice any sport or nothing? No. No, no, no. Well, and that's something game. that I yeah. know is bad for my health. But ah, it's, I need the grace of God. <laughs> okay. Well, in my case, I I I had I had working on on, on days that it's supposed to be free. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you, yeah. Jocelyn? Okay, I know you didn't finish, but as I mentioned before, I'm gonna be sending you to different rooms. So let's wait for your classmates. Okay. Great. So what is the idea? The idea about this exercise? I need you to use the correct structure, okay? I know you're giving personal details, right? But I need you to use, for example, I stopped doing, and then you mentioned the example that you're going to present. I resent 
paying for. So please, eso es lo que quiero. You need to use the correct structure. A verb followed by a gerund. So let's go back. Um, let's go ahead and practice. I know most of you were asking, or did you already ask about this one from number one to six? So you can continue with the different ones from seven to number 12. Try to finish with the ideas, right? I know you're going to uh, be interviewing different classmates, but let's have different questions so they can participate as well. So let's go back to the rooms with different classmates. Okay, go please, continue working. Mike mute. What was the last question you answered in the previous group? In the previous I answered uh, all the questions. All the questions, wow. We were I, practicing. I, I, I only answered four. <laughs> we talked really? about the, the, the one, the two, the three, the fourth, and uh, we stopped with the fourth when the time is, was over. And uh, if do you want, we can continue about the number five, if you want, yes. or number six. Yes. Number six, but to avoid the embarrasses about <laughs> what, what embarrasses you. Okay, number six, what kind of people do you avoid meeting? Mm, well, I try to avoid people. Uh, I don't want to meet with someone who is really... Uh, not easy going because I am a person of really easy going and I don't feel comfortable with someone who is really serious and you cannot talk because you are scared of that person. And also I try to avoid toxic people and hypocrite people and I don't like to talk with someone in that way. Yes, interesting. I am a... Uh, um... I, I, I am a, a Christian, I am a preacher, I, I need to, to know every kind of people and to tolerate every kind of people. And, and I can avoid meeting uh, people, but in, in my particular life, I, I am a, a, a solitary guy. I like, I like, I love it to stay alone. I love to read. Uh, I love to write. I have a writer, one or two books. And I, I don't, I don't like meet people, but not because the people, but because of me, I, 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 because I want to stay alone. I don't want to go in meetings. Oh, hello, Gemma. I, I, I need your help, but it's first. It's, it's right now because I I have a I need a tram for for the pay a customer for example. Oh wow! Yeah, it's it's a hard, very hard. Yeah, yes, my schedule is, is a, a little a little. Well, um, Francisco. Tell me. In. Uh, I would like to refer with the first question. When yeah. have you stopped doing recently? Uh, I think that I, I recently I, I stopped uh, rest uh, well, rest well. What about um, you? Well, I I said to Freddy that I I have 
have stopped the uh, stopped taking care of my garden because the rain. Oh really? Yeah. Oh. Because I, I love care my my garden. Oh, and really? in this rainy the rainy days is a trouble, it's a problem carry. Yeah, actually the the weather is a, a little hard, but um, yeah, yes. Diego. Hi guys, did you finish? <laughs> Not really. What Hello. Hi. Um, he went to the. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now she's waiting for him. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Yeah. I don't know hey, what's going on with I'm my sorry, camera. Uh, yeah. I think he went uh, to I, I write you on WhatsApp. Uh, the thing is that right now I know that I'm I'm not doing the best in these classes, but it's because. Uh -huh. um, next Sunday, Saturday, I'm sorry, I have a test uh, really? with the okay. Supreme Court. Uh, el examen de notariado. So right now, um, <laughs> I, I have like, I'm doing like a lot of type of exercises. Yes, I know, um, I know. I'm resolving some tests and even uh, I have some friends here in my house. Uh, really? Trying uh, right to, now? To At this moment? Well, right now, no. Not they right are, now, but... They, they, well, they are buying food <laughs> okay but, but we will, i mean we will continue later but okay don't right worry now, I, i'm not able to participate in the class okay, it's thank for you. that reason <laughs> thank you so much so for the, letting me know you know yes i know I okay know. so um you know what i what i can do right now <clears throat> you can come back to the main room and i'm gonna be sending freddy's to a different room okay so he can continue uh, practicing with other classmates okay and don't worry okay yes I, i'm Great. sorry for for um freddy for no oh, freddy. Right now with this. <laughs> okay okay no sé qué le pasó a mi cámara look no puedo encenderla es que me hace que so freddy's go with quien envío freddy's france no, Andres in Genesis. Okay. That one. That one. Room number four. You you have a uh, maybe a, a time of quiet when you are driving or only listen music, listening to music on, on the radio. And when I, I get home, I enjoy uh, Wild the Dog. Um, yeah. uh, get my dinner with uh, uh, with my wife every 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 night, and and that's it. I I am a, 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 a um, habits man. I I. I like to 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 do every day my my routine, and I enjoy it. I enjoy that. How about Andres, you? That's so beautiful. <laughs> um, I enjoy watching series. <laughs> I really enjoy uh, watching new series, and actually, I. I think I spent a lot of time doing that. And sometimes I feel bad about it, but then when I realize that it makes me happy, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yes, uh, I I don't have uh, a lot of time to, to do to do to do that, but uh, every day every day when I am I am having dinner, I watch a a chapter almost uh, 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 at least a chapter. At least a chapter of a, a a series with my wife, and I know when maybe we finish the series. In maybe you you can you can watch a lot of capture every day, and you finish. To that. 
Okay. Well, actually, in my case, I could listen to any genre of music. It don't matter to us, exactly to heavy metal, the, the ones that they say, yeah, I don't know you what the do. No. <laughs> but I actually like that. You know, I, I like, like you know I like why that. I don't like it because it sounds like they have like the demon inside. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. The the ones that, that scream, yeah, I don't like those, uh those bands, but I like heavy metal. Have you ever heard of Nightwish? It's a um how is it called? It's instrument it's metal, but it's uh como se llama? Symphonic metal. It's more symphonic, and I love I love that. I don't know if you like that, but yeah, yeah. but I can understand <laughs> that. Do that have, do I have you, a neighbor that he heard that he heard some heavy metal, but he, he even though he, he starts screaming like that's like in the like in the song, he was, he was like, yeah. Uh -huh. I'm alive. I'm alive. I like. Uh, I'm gonna bring up up or someone or to make an exorcist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you know, it's uh, that's a gu guilty pleasure of mine because I like to listen to it, but I'm not um a metalera. <laughs> I don't. I'm. I don't reach those levels of yeah. So um, you don't I, break you don't break anything in your house when you listen no, to no, no. okay no. <laughs> no, you know, I, 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 yeah I imagine you send sending your computer throughout the window <laughs> <laughs> I, I appreciate my maybe I I play video games every day <laughs> uh, uh, at least uh, an hour <laughs> but the English is but Alan Rickman I can, I can watch it over and over again. Okay. Uh, we also discussed about when you do sports and when you ever risk hurting yourself. I was in like, I think ninth grade and I was playing volleyball and I wanted to reach the, the ball. And I landed with my hand extended open and I dislocated all my fingers. Okay. So every time so every time I move them, they like and if I'm in a very cold space, they start cracking when I move them. Okay. So how about you? Uh, of the questions we didn't share together. How about no, you? For me, no, for me, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. But what is something that you stopped doing recently then? Lenny? Mm hmm. Let me see something. Let me, mama. Yeah, sure. The number one. Yep. Mm hmm. Yes, I I got I mean together we went from five to twelve, but of the first four we didn't discuss them. No. Okay, it is time to come back. So we can listen to your classmates. I know you were having a lot of fun, you know? So that's great, you know, because in that way, you're practicing your English, you're practicing the grammar structures in a very different way. So great job. Let's wait for your classmates. So we can start with the second, well, with the third activity. I'm just missing David, Erwin, and Jasmine. Okay, let's do a quick review. What are we going to do right now? Look, let's have question number one. So I'm going to pick Fernando right now and Fernando is going to ask this question to anyone in the class, okay? And after that, 
the other person is going to ask next question. It's going to pick another one so they can participate as well. So, Fernando, go ahead with number one. Okay. Uh, Freddy, is that you? Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. What have you stopped doing recently? What? Oh, man, playing video games. That's sad. Oh, I have so, the same feeling, man. Great. So, Freddy, once again, I have stopped. I have stopped playing video games great, recently. Great, great job. Stop playing video games recently. Very good job. Freddy, continue. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it? Is it because you don't have time? Is it because... Yeah, lately I don't have time because... <laughs> Because I of the been, English classes. <laughs> not, not actually the English classes because um, when I get out from work, I have to okay. do something at home and I have been cutting some trees that uh, were like, let's say it was like they were too high already and, mm -hmm. and it was like a danger. It was a threat to my house, so I had to yeah, cut them off. The rain, so yeah. So I have I had done a lot of stuff lately, so that's okay. happening. Okay. <laughs> I don't have any any of my own time, <laughs> free time. Yeah, right. So an extra time. So wow, that's so sad. So Fred, go ahead, please. Ask the second question to one of your classmates. Okay. Let me see who. Let me choose the victim. <laughs> Ah, Jocelyn. <laughs> I don't know why, but something's in my neck. <laughs> and he was me. You had that feeling, right? That is personal. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. Why he says, yes, Jocelyn, why he says oyente, if you're not an oyente. Uh -huh. I am because uh, my company mentioned that they didn't send the documentation, so I am not listening right now for the moment. But uh, okay. I do anyway. Huh? <laughs> the important thing is that I am learning, and this yeah. is my goal, my objective. Okay. okay. Question number two: What's something you really recent paying for? Well, I really wasn't paying my bills every month. <laughs> Not only you. <laughs> Something in a specific. Uh, everything. Energy. Uh, Something that you hate paying for. <laughs> everything I already mentioned. The only things that I, I don't really appreciate paying for is when I, young, I, I, I used to go shopping and I used to buy cloth and shoes for me. This is that is not something that I really recent pay back for my bills. Yes. What can I do? I should do it. <laughs> yeah, right. We need to. So, Jocelyn, go ahead and ask this question. This one, number three. Oops. Okay. And yeah, let me just confirm. Okay. To David. Baby. Okay. Baby, what movie can you watch over and over without getting tired of? Okay. I... What movie can you watch over uh, without getting tired of? I was saying in my, in my group that uh, my wife loves uh, The Sound of Music. And uh, this is a very long movie. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, we see not uh, every week, no, but uh, from time to time, we we see it in a, it's a, a very nice picture, a picture about of the 60s, uh, and it was talking about the 40s, but it was uh, made, made in the 60s, but it's a very good movie. And, uh, uh, we see many, many times uh, we we don't see the the movie in, in in only one day because it's very very long. It's something like the Titanic. It's uh, two hours and uh, some minutes 
is very long and uh, we see in about two or three days, uh, but uh, we love it to see it, that movie. What's the name of the movie again? The Sound of Music or in, in Spanish it's La Novicia music. Rebelde. Really? Okay, interesting. Have you ever watched this movie class? Because in my case, I have never, you know? Yes, it's a, yeah. it's a very old movie. Really? No. Not right? So, so I'm going to be looking for this one. Where can I find that movie, David? I don't tell you. Uh, now <laughs> it's, in, it's in, in the Disney Channel. The Disney, ah, Channel. Disney Channel. And it uh, have a different name. Mm -hmm. uh, the name is something. Uh, the first name, the, the original name is The Sound of Music. Okay. With Julie Andrews uh, and Christopher Plummer. There are the... the the main characters. Uh, mm -hmm. And, uh, bueno, the character is uh, uh, the, the Captain Bomb Trap, and uh, Julie Andrews is a, a noon for a, a convent as uh, Sor Maria. Okay. <laughs> and uh, uh, it's in the, in the uh, time of the Second World War. Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's like that. That where the song la, come the the song that goes do un don un gran señor. Have you ever oh, heard that? Oh yeah. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> for, <laughs> for that reason, is the sound of music because it's have the the <clears throat> beginning of the music of the music the, the teach about the the notes yeah. and and something like that, but with a love story. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, important. Uh, mm, I can, David? I can share a, 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 a... David? Sorry? Son los musicales que salen en el canal de Disney. <laughs> eh, the sound of music. If, es que eh, mi hija se pone a ver unos ahí que salen cantando casi todo el tiempo en, en el canal. Oh. Uh, but this, but this is a very, a very old sound. So we get there for a copyright, but don't worry. Hey, excellent, David. Thank you so much for sharing. You know that the name of that movie for sure. I'm gonna be looking for that movie and I'm gonna watch it. Bien, excellent, David. Go ahead and continue. Put the okay. Number four. Number four. Yeah. Uh, let me see who are in the chat. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, well, maybe, maybe, maybe Jasmine. Okay, Jasmine. Jasmine, I was talking with Jasmine. Okay. And she told me about her volleyball play, but Jasmine, so. when doing sports, have you ever risked hurting yourself? Uh, yes, I have. When I was playing, um, volleyball at school, I risk hurting my hand. I landed with my hand open on the floor and I dislocated my fingers. All of the fingers, wow. Wow. Your right or left? Which one was it? Both. Both? <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, the nurse, and the nurse at school put them back. Oh my God. So they always crack whenever it's very cold and my office is very cold. So they always uh -huh. crack. So like, hmm? Wow. <laughs> I guess we're shocked, right? So Jasmine, um, is there a way? I don't know. No sé cómo llamarle. La terapias, no sé. Or are you taking some pills, you know? from time to time? 
because of the thing you were mentioning, mm -hmm. you work in a cold place, so. Yes, so I do uh -huh. have to take um, un suplemento para el cartílago. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. So. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Thank you so much for sharing that, you know, that bad experience I know, but wow. <laughs> So go ahead, please. Jasmine, with number hmm? five. Number five. Pick one of your classmates. Oh my God. Okay. What should I pick? Um, yum, 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 yum. I'm going to pick Andres. Okay, Andres. Are you there? Yes, tell me. Okay, so number five. What do you enjoy doing? that you are embarrassed about? Well, I really, I don't remember in this moment. Okay, Jasmine, you can mm -hmm. pick a different question if you want. Go ahead with number seven. Okay, what kind of people do you avoid meeting? Oh. Is yes, for me or for? Yeah, uh, for, for, for you. Yeah, it's for you. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, I don't like to be with people that talk too much. Just that kind of people like I always try to avoid. Okay. Uh, even if you are at work or with your family. Uh, well, yeah. in my work, I I can, but you cannot. Uh, uh, yes, but, but in my private life, mm -hmm. I, los bolos. Sorry, los bolos. Francisco, no es viernes y el cuerpo no lo sabe todavía. Yes. So yes, remember a boy. Meeting, avoid meeting. Very good job. Andres, number okay. seven, please. Number seven. Okay, to Francisco. Okay, Francisco. Hi, <laughs> come on. <laughs> <laughs> How often do you appreciate other people for helping you? I am coach. I don't know. What do you say? Uh, maybe the person that when the person have a um, an energy. Uh, I don't know. I have some opportunities or experience to to know the some case in in the hospital, mm -hmm. maybe in, in this in this um, type of situation, it's correct. That's a type of situation. Okay. So, class, what would be the meaning of this question in Spanish? Number seven. Um, ¿Qué tanto seguido a valoramos Valorado. a las otras personas? que nos han ayudado. Como ayudado, ¿no? agradecemos. Como agradecemos, sería más que uh -huh. todo algo así, que les agradecemos. Ya. Yeah. Do you always? always? Always, right? So, we always appreciate other people for helping us. Excellent. Francisco, number eight. <clears throat> okay. Um, Lourdes. Okay, Lourdes. Have you ever been doing something even if you did it? I guess I have. <laughs> I have uh, denied doing something even if I did it. Uh, maybe when, when I was a child, I used to do this. Um, I remember a time I broke the how do you say licuadora? Blender. 
Yes, I forgot. Yeah, I, I brought the blender, so I, I put it in the same form I found it. <laughs> and when my mom used it, she thought, <laughs> she thought it was her fault and she asked me if I did it and I said no I didn't <laughs> that... okay great great experience but that was when you were no child you were <laughs> so let's continue let's move on eight okay. no number nine mm -hmm. um, I will pick Genesis. Okay, Genesis. And number nine says, what do you always avoid doing until the last minute? Well, <laughs> yeah, uh, something that that came to mind when we were discussing that is probably texting other people because uh, I don't know, I don't consider myself to be anti-social, anti but sometimes I, when people text me, it's like, Oh, I'm, I don't want to deal with that right now. I'm going to text them later. And then I forget because I'm busy. And then it's always like, oh my God, I forgot to text them back. And it's like always until the last minute. So I texting, I, I always leave uh, texting until the last minute, texting oh, back. Okay. Wow. Interesting. <laughs> Go ahead, please. Hey, number number oh. 10. Number 10. Um, Erwin, I don't know if he already. Uh, Erwin, um, what are yes. some things? Okay. <clears throat> what are some things you enjoy doing every day? How about every week? Okay, your microphone. Sorry. All things, all things. If I work, I love. If I will eat, I love. If I will sleep, I love. Yes. It's a, it's a culture in my life. Never to be angry. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's a nice philosophy. Wow. We shall imitate. It's yeah. only your mind. You maybe I am angry with me, not with the other person. Mm, okay. Because if I have a mistake, it's my mistake, not the other person. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Erwin. Yes. Go ahead, please. Ask this question. Number 11. Pick one of your classmates. Uh, who who didn't participate, I don't know. Wow. Who? Um, Harbin? Harbin, are you, Harbin, are you here? Yes, I am here. Tell me oh, hello, Harbin. Hello, Harbin. Elma and Doris as well. Okay, go. Okay, Jerbin. Okay, number 11, teacher. Yeah, please. What is something you love doing but don't have enough time for. Okay, something that I love doing is spend time with my daughter, but right now I don't have enough time to do it. But, but I try to, to spend time with her every single day. Wow, yeah, right? Interesting. So go ahead, there's number 12. Pick one of your classmates. Okay, Doris. Doris. Yes. The last question, what is something you can stand doing? Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. I can stand doing in, to eat. <laughs> I eat, uh, I like to eat, but my doctor said me, you, you must lose the weight, but it's hard for me. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> so you cannot extend. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. Interesting. So class, great. You see, we were practicing in a different way. You know, we were getting to know our classmates as well. 
we were having fun and we were practicing, you know, the structure. So look at this one. As a um, reminder, what is a gerund? Remember, it's a form of a verb that ends in ing and that is used as a noun. You already know this information, so let's move on. What are some other verbs that we have? Look in this presentation and that these are followed by a gerund. Admit, acknowledge, advise, allow, anticipate, appreciate, avoid, and begin. Okay? Look, let's have this one. Vamos a leer. Let me see. David. Go ahead, please. Read this example. Okay. Admit is the bird. He admitted cheating, cheating on the test. Mm -hmm. Acknowledge. She acknowledged receiving assistance, advice. The doctor generally advised doing exercise. Okay. Allow. Ireland doesn't allow the smoking in bars. Great. So what are the verbs that we have? Admit, knowledge, advice, allowed. Uh, Jocelyn, go ahead, please continue with the example. Okay, um, the one that you already selected. Mm -hmm. Yeah, please. Okay, thank you. I didn't anticipate having to do the cooking myself. Mm -hmm. Okay. I appreciate her helping me. She always avoid going to the dentist. I began learning English when I was 16. Okay, anticipate, appreciate, avoid, and begin. Those are examples, you know. Do not forget about this one. Freddy, go ahead and continue. And after that, I'm going to have Kenny. With these ones. Do you have to read the... Uh, yeah, just read the example. Read the example. Mm -hmm. He can... We are talking to his old classmate. He can help bring, bring in that topic again and again. He can't see... Yeah, he can't see paying so much money for a car. He can't stand her smoking in the, in the office. Okay, so what do these examples have in common class? The negative. Mm -hmm. Look, can, 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 can. 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 Uh -huh. So I can't, he can't, they can't. And these are some examples, right? Help, see, uh -huh. and stand as well. Very good job, Kenya. Uh -huh. Continue, please. This one. Yes, the government sees providing free health care, and that will be great. <laughs> mm -hmm. yes, Complete. Yes. <laughs> he completed renovating those two buildings. Consider, she considered moving to an European country. Okay. Continue. He continued watching Netflix for Netflix shows for hours. Defend. The liar defended her making such statements. Okay, C is complete, consider, continue, and defend. Very good job. I guess and I all have... of them are in past. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, imagine. Yes, excellent. I guess this is the last group of verbs that I have for today. Let me have Francisco and Andres. Go ahead, Francisco. With this one. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. No, don't worry. Uh, delays? Mm -hmm. Just read the example. Oh, okay. He delays doing my exercise of teams. She afraid writing my thesis. Mm -hmm. Hidden egg. Ah, sorry. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Don't worry. Ah, gracias. Hidden egg co committing or committing? Committing. Mm -hmm. 
He denied. He denied committing crimes in Colombia. He disappeared. This species or the spice? Well, mm -hmm. it's a All right, the spice, the spice. The spice is working, working up early. Okay, probably we have some new words. What is the meaning of this one? Before. ¿Quién sabe qué es este verbo? What is this verb? Okay. ¿Qué es esto? Mm -hmm. So, what is the idea um, in this sentence? <laughs> ella definió. Uh -huh. Aplazar. Aplazar. Como que la estás poniendo. ¿Cómo? Uh -huh. Posponer como posponer en este, en este contexto, ¿no? Como que está tratando de, de, de posponer la escritura de la tesis. ¿Será eso, ah. clase? Retrasó. ¿Cuál es el sinónimo? O retrasar, ajá. Ajá. But why it says writing my, my, this. ¿Por qué será que dice eso? Es como que por culpa de ella no es que uh -huh. se, se tardó más o, o algo así. Ok, tomémoslo así. Pero sí sería como posponer. Posponer si quieren traducirlo. Posponer. Oh. O okay. diferir, me imagino. O diferir, que es otro sinónimo. Right. ¿Y este? How about this one? ¿Qué es esto? That is like when you uh, <laughs> aborrecer, like exactly. You, you like something. do not really like, you know, this five. Is this your case? <laughs> <That's the other. laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, every day. Every day, right? <laughs> so this five. Muy bien. Who was next? Andres, right? Creo que Andres sí, yeah. Go ahead, please. Okay, we discussed working at the company. She dislikes working in those big companies. I don't mind helping you. She dreads getting up at 5 a.m. He encourages eating healthy foods. Okay, what are, what are the verbs that we have there? Discuss, dislike, don't mind, dread. What is the meaning of that? Thank you, dread, or can you give me a synonym for this one? Este, es un temor. As ¿Será un temor normal, no? ¿O será algo más grande? Oh, yeah. Um, it's bigger. Es un... ¿Cómo le llamaremos? Terror, Favor. horror. ¿Ah? Favor. Un horror. Favor, right? Así que algo más grande. No es como un miedo normal, right? So she dreads getting up at 5 a.m., imagine. So that is the meaning of that one. Dread, dread. Okay. Uh, sorry, uh -huh. teacher. What is the meaning encourage? Ah, encourages. Miren, she encourages eating healthy food. ¿Qué será esto, clase? Animar. Será positivo o negativo. It's positivo. Positive. It's positive, exactly. Animar. El anima. Se anima a comer qué? Comida saludable. Saludable. Exactly. Wow, interesting. So, a estos son algunos verbos. Remember, we have so many other examples, right? But because of time, we cannot have them in a single class. So, as the last activity, we are going to practice, you know, with uh, an online quiz. Vamos a ver cómo lo... Last time, we were practicing with quizzes. But for today, we are not going to have quizzes. Vamos a tener un Kahoot. Have you ever played this one, Kahoot? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes no. teacher. No, Maya, let's explain. Let me explain about this one. Kahoot is not similar to quiz. Les muestro cómo se juega. Kahoot. Kahoot. Here we go. Just let me have a picture. It's almost the same, teacher. You need to go to I guess, almost. my Kahoot. Almost. Yes, almost the same. The, the, the main difference is that the, 
the, ah, the previous see. version don't show you the, the question, only the color of the answer. Mm -hmm. But the new version, can you... You can have both, you, right? But in this you case... You can have just, both, yes. You're just going to have the color, like the shape and the color. Yes, mm -hmm. and the color and the shape, yes. Vaya, pero no encuentro una imagen. I had a picture, you know, para que ustedes puedan ver cómo es. You need to go to my Kahoot. Mm -hmm, I have it. My Kahoot and put the call in. Let me see. Aquí está. Okay, let me show you the picture. What is a Kahoot? The, it's an online the, quiz. Mm -hmm. The that, main difference, yeah. teacher, is the, the main difference is that you, the time finish and you can answer after the time. Yeah, if right. You don't answer in the time. You lost the question. It is, right? But look, so as David, he was explaining, right? Great job. And thank you so much for helping me to explain about this one. I'm going to be projecting this one. Question. You need to read the question. And there you're going to have two or four different options. And take a look. All of them have different colors. So, in your device, you are just going to pick the correct mm -hmm. color, okay, according to the correct answer, right? So, in el caso, dice acá, how many days will this training take? Let's say that the correct answer is this one, one day. So, what color do you need to select? The blue one. This one. The blue one. one. Mm -hmm. Entonces, tienen que estar pendientes de mi pantalla. In quizzes, it was different, right? So, is it clear? I guess yeah. it is, right? So, but, but yeah, teacher, is, it is important that mm -hmm. if, we, if we need to see your screen and if we need to answer in the we need to open two, two tabs to to in one see the Kahoot and in the other one see the question in your session. All right, that's true. Muy bien. Yes. You need to have two devices, exactly. Two devices, two devices or, or two or two tabs. Or, or two tabs or two tabs, exactly. Or two tabs. I prefer those yes. that option, right. Vamos a ver cómo nos va. If not, we can have this activity as the first one in our class. Vamos a ver. Here we go. Let me show you the pink number. Vamos, clase. Look. You need to go to kahoot.it. Kahoot.it. There you have the instructions. And there you have the game pin. Seven players already. Go ahead, please. Nine. Okay, 12 players. Let me know if you're ready because of the time, okay? Okay. 
So 9.48, we're going to start with this game. Another difference, teacher, in this game is mm -hmm. that you, if you lost the first question, you lost. It's not the same as quizzes. In quizzes, no, you can same, go right? late. Mm -hmm. Yes. So go ahead. Finish the idea, please. Yes. Let's go. Okay. Ready or not? Here we go. Okay, go ahead, please. Number one, they love We finish. Finish. No finish. She learned. Take your time. Mm-hmm. 
Like to go out and Okay, go ahead. We are about to finish. She prefer it. We are just missing five. Okay, we're just missing two more. Okay.
what you want. Great. Well, in the third place we have, okay, David, excellent. Jasmine, and? And, and, and it is. Way to go, very good job. And lower the sand to Bebito. Ahí lo tenemos también en el podium. Muy bien, class. You know? What would you notice? What would you notice? That we had gerunds and infinitives. Because you need to, you know, make sure <laughs> about this topic as well. So, great job, class. Just you need to keep on practicing, okay? And we're going to have similar exercises in the following classes. Bien, time is over. I'm just going to be checking the attendance list in the second time, so please. Say here or present. Eh, empezamos. Vámonos de abajo para arriba. Ya salen y Mel de arriba se abarca. Present. Good evening. Okay. Good Hi, good <laughs> Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. Is she in the class? Okay, she's not, right? Was she in the class? Está en la clase, chica. I don't remember. Oh, yeah. Okay, ahí está, muy bien. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Telma Clotilde Peña Martínez. Present. Okay. Madeline Yamilet Molina González. Present. Lourdes Montserrat Hernández Velasco. Present. Kenia Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Present. Jasmine Marisol Escobar Flores. Present. Harvin, is it Jarvin or Harvin? Excuse me, I do apologize. Harvin, because, uh, Harvin right? Harvin, yeah. okay. So Harvin, yeah. Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. Muy bien, Harvin. Génesis de Carmen Hernández Brizuela. Present. Freddy Vladimir Cortés López. Francisco Amadeo, okay, Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chats. Present teacher. Good okay. night. Francisco. Yes. Can you stay just for a moment today? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you were about to leave. I'm sorry. No Fernando problem. Ernesto Cosme Morales. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present, sorry. <laughs> okay, Erwin. Present teacher. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Good night. Good night to you. Diego Alejandro Caballero López. I am here. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. And Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Good night. Okay, good night to you. So, guys, thank you so much for joining. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. Have a great night. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay. Hi, Francisco. How are you? Hi, teacher. How are Francisco? I think I'm fine. You're fine. Excellent. Yeah. So I was just wondering, you know, um, advance number two. Wow. Congratulations. Estamos en avanzado número dos. Thank you. Let me yeah. ask you. Um, do you have questions about this course? Do you want a specific topic or a skill that you really need to practice? I, I really need to listen to you. How can uh, I help you? <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, mm, I think that I need to, to know more words because, uh, well, in my, in my mind is, is a little for or try to structure the, the, the correct sentence. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Because I have the problem, I do not know enough, enough knowledge uh -huh. uh, or 
más bien I don't know I don't not not I do not not work enough work. Ah, okay. So like extra vocabulary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How I don't know. I, I, I think. Mm -hmm. No, tell. Mm -hmm. Just finish it here, please. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I think that I have this big problem. Um, mm -hmm. obviously I have a problem with my pro pronunci pronunciation. Pronunciation, okay. Mm -hmm. Why do you feel that? Very good. Because I guess your pronunciation is okay. <laughs> Remember <laughs> no. that it doesn't matter because uh, sometimes you want to uh, speak really fast, you know? Mm -hmm. And it doesn't mean that if you don't speak fast, that your pronunciation is not good or that your fluency mm -hmm. is not good, you know? But as you may see, we have been working in different exercises and also you were uh, doing a presentation and mm -hmm. I have the time to take some notes, listen to you and your classmates as well, right? Yeah. So that's what I'm saying, you know? Creería mm -hmm. que, yes, solo tendría como dos o tres of your classmates que todavía les da miedo hablar. They are not willing to participate, you know, or, and also with this Me type too. of game, you know? <laughs> but no, I guess you're not in that group, so. What do we need to do as extra vocabulary? As you yeah. may see, sometimes, for example, whenever we are in the class, eh, there are some words that we don't know, or probably mm -hmm. we are not sure about the pronunciation. Yeah, for example, so. if you go to this one, the, the mm -hmm. examples that I was presenting, creería que aquí, aunque sea una, una palabra nueva tiene que haber. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Which one? Será? Which one? ¿Cuál será más nuevas for you? Mm, the second. second the what? second, for example, yeah. Which one? The verb or uh, the admitted? The, ver the verbs of. This one? No, no, no. The, no, the, 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 the acknowledge. Uh, acknowledge. The ah, okay. Uh -huh. So in this case, Let's think about it. Pensemos, ¿qué podríamos hacer? If I don't know about this new word, about this verb, because this is a verb, mm -hmm. I don't know how to pronounce it and what is the meaning of the verb. ¿Qué hago? ¿Qué es lo más fácil hacer? Look, mm. this is a yeah, great I, idea. Uh, I try to, mm -hmm. to, to have an idea or relation with other words. For have a knowledge, maybe. Exactly. Ah, know. okay. Muy bien. Like to have a synonym or mm -hmm. to find out about uh, the root, la raíz de esta palabra. Right. So, look. Este es un buen ejemplo. Tener el verbo and next to the verb, como estamos viendo los verbos, right? Like yeah. to have a sentence. Tener una oración que yo mismo haga. Para que no se me olvide de meaning. Otra idea mm -hmm. es. To have a synonym. Voy y busco sinónimos. De acknowledge. Y los pongo a la par. Para que cuando ve esta palabra. In, in, if I don't remember about the correct pronunciation. Or the meaning of this verb. I have an idea. Because they have. You know. Written down about the definition. Or synonyms about this verb. Okay, so please mm -hmm. have your notebook everywhere. Your notebook, or you can take some notes uh, in your notepad here, you know, your computer or your cell phone. So, yeah, is it yeah. Remember, uh -huh, tell me. Yeah. No, no, I only say that I try to use it in the mm -hmm. a conversation in YouTube. Ah, okay, yes, right. Uh -huh. There are then, some videos. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What type of videos do you like to listen to? I see not um, mm -hmm. uh, is how do you say mm -hmm. conversaciones espor esporánicas. Okay. This is the name in YouTube. 
Ako, and this is Alicia. about na native people. Native eh, people. Uh -huh. Ajá, nativo del inglés. Right? Mm, no. No, not really. No, no, no. no, no different no. accents. I, yeah, different a accent. I think that she is a uh, Mexican. Oh, really? She's a Mexican girl. Uh-huh. So, look, uh, that's Alicia. great. Alicia. Uh -huh. I have never yeah. heard about, Alicia. about this I, girl. Mm -hmm. I, I I like to listen in, in my in my free times in a break. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But sometimes I have a lot of work that but I it's know. a little difficult. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult, you know. But when I when I have the opportunity for, for listening, I am try it. Yeah, I prefer you to have this type of activities like the one that you're mentioning. Activities mm -hmm. or type of videos that you enjoy watching because in that way, you are coming back to watch another video and in this way, you're gonna be practicing. Look, yeah. this is another way of practicing. If you see, to have reading examples because mm -hmm. you are listening, you are yeah. reading and you're speaking three skills at a time. Aquí mm, nos vamos okay. con tres de las skills a la misma sí. vez. <laughs> y me gusta porque tenemos extra vocabulary as well. Vocabulario sí. que si no conocemos, pero tenemos un contexto y sabemos how to use these words, right? Así que don't worry. Otra forma que a mí me gusta también es watch blogs. Sigo bastantes bloggers, you know? Mm. Que hablan inglés, obviamente. Entonces me acostumbro sí. a escucharlos, listen to it y escucharlos. Y me gusta porque son actividades diarias que ellos presentan. Por ejemplo, su vida diaria, actividades que hacen. And this is real context, you know, mm. real pronunciation. So you can do this as well. So yeah, I motivate sure. you to do this type of activities. Remember, we never stop learning. Que ya estemos, yeah, en el, ajá, que estemos en el avanzado número dos. No significa que si acabamos los, todos los módulos, ahí se acabó de aprender inglés. No. And also remember, um, what is the purpose of these classes as well? Number one, to participate. Number two, to have different topics about your job, you know, por eso es inglés para el trabajo, pero no solo eso. Si no, yeah. preguntar también. Don't worry, don't be afraid. Si yo no sé, teacher, how do you say this in English? Es válido siempre preguntar cómo dice esto. O give me an example about this a new word. Eh, ¿Qué más? Teacher, can you explain that again? Teacher, I don't understand. Es válido. ¿Por qué? Porque seguimos siendo estudiantes. Entonces, sí. hay que ser... Eh, proactivos, Proactivo. no tener miedo, es que el miedo es lo que no te tiene, así que preguntemos en las clases, ask your classmates as well, muchas veces cuando estamos trabajando en grupitos, eh, esa es la oportunidad, tengo un grupo uh -huh. reducido de personas, tengo más libertad, más tiempo de hablar, so keep on practicing, no tengamos miedo a la corrección y a seguir aprendiendo, ok, but, claro, yes, right, so, eh, any other comment or questions o solo vocabulario o es lo que hemos mm -hmm. identificado hasta ahorita es lo que siento que me cuesta bastante ¿Verdad? el vocabulario ¿so? no sí. olvidemos el inglés tiene tres bases o tres tomémoslo como un triángulo la primera base es eh, confidence si yo estoy segura y no tengo miedo es la primera parte de mi Triángulo para aprender inglés. Lo número dos, vocabulario. Entre más vocabulario tengo, I'm going to be able to uh, talk about any type of topic. Y la tercera base sería la gramática. Si yo entiendo la gramática, por ejemplo, ahorita los gerunds, si yo los entiendo o recuerdo algunos verbos que le siguen gerunds, Va a ser mucho más fácil de expresarme porque no voy a estar pensando en español. ¿Será que lo estoy haciendo correcto o no? Entonces, the easiest way is to read and to practice, okay? So, ánimos, sí. Francisco. I know you can do it. Y sigamos participando en la clase, ¿sabes? ¿so? Claro. Thank you so much for staying. Ya Thank you, you teacher, for <laughs> sharing your knowledge with oh, me. No, no, no. I, I, you know, I'm really glad to be here and helping you as well. 
So, thank you. Thank you so much. We are going to continue tomorrow, okay? Okay. See Have you a tomorrow. great night. Thank you. Thank you.